In 1933, in Los Angeles, USA, a mining engineer named Warren Schufelt was inspecting the area for oil, gold and other valuable materials, using a new device that he himself had invented. Schufelt was extremely puzzled one day as he took readings near downtown Los Angeles, his instruments showing him what appeared to be a pattern of underground tunnels. So he proceeded to draw a map. What he discovered appeared to be a well-planned subterranean labyrinth, with large rooms located at several points, gold deposits inside chambers and corridors. Some of the tunnels traveled 30 kilometers underground, which he believed were only used for ventilation. Unfortunately, Schufeld had no idea that they were connected to the oldest ruins of an even larger city that was covered by the Pacific Ocean thousands of years ago during a great earthquake and subsequent floods. The underground complex he had discovered was used for emergencies and was only designed to house about 5,000 individuals. Food supplies of imperishable herbs were stored in sufficient quantities that would allow the survivors to live underground until they returned to the surface. Also included in the complex were personal items and valuable utensils, as well as historical documents and gold treasures. During his investigation, he met a Joppy Indian named Little Green Leaf Chief who told him about the legend of an ancient race of lizard people. Legends say that about 4,000 to 5,000 years ago, a huge meteor shower fell on the west coast covering an area hundreds of miles wide. The Winslow Crater in northern Arizona is just one of the pieces that fell from the sky at that time. Thousands of inhabitants died, their crops were razed, homes destroyed, and forests burned. Survivors of the medical ward, who had remained on the west coast, gathered to make plans to build safe areas. The sky sentries warned that it was time to enter the shelters and seal the accesses behind them. They were forced to go underground to save themselves from another gigantic meteor shower that devastated much of the west coast of the United States. The Lagarto people of Los Angeles survived the meteor shower, but were killed by the natural gas that leaked into their bunkers. Schufeld and his partner, the Little Green Leaf leader, were convinced that the legends and readings of the device created by Schufeld were true. They decided to obtain a permit to dig a well into the ruins of the underground city. They located a vacant lot, directly above one of the larger rooms. On February 21, 1933, the County Board of Supervisors approved a contract with Warren Schufeld to search for a buried treasure there and he was to share 50% of all discoveries and treasures with the city of Los Angeles. Warren Schufeld believed that the maze of tunnels was at least 300 meters deep, with 2.5 square kilometer rooms containing valuable gold treasures in at least 16 places. Legends say that the main hall is the directory to the rest of the city, and the historical gold tables. These boards were gold plates, 1 meter long and 35 centimeters wide. The tables were believed to contain records of the origins of the human race and the history of modern man in the Americas, including details of the history of the mysterious Mayan people. Schufelt's radio wave device mapped rooms and tunnels as subterranean holes, with gold plates as dark areas, showing perfect geometric angles. The water had leaked into some of the tunnels, and several of the rooms, including the largest, were flooded. In early February 1934, the first stories about the legend of the lost land of lizard people appeared in the Los Angeles newspapers. By then, one of the five wells was already more than 100 meters deep and was still being excavated, despite the difficulties caused by the water found on its way. Several newspaper articles appeared in the newspaper with updates on the project. Shortly after all the media attention was focused on this quest for the lost city under Los Angeles, the project was suddenly stopped and abandoned. On March 5, 1934, the wells had been filled and the contract with the city was cancelled. Neither gold nor any other treasure was delivered to the county of Los Angeles or made public. Many years have passed.